What's up guys? Welcome back to Huffman of Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So today I have some exciting news when it comes to iOS 15.2 as we now have the first point update which is an official public release and as you can see here it's iOS 15.2.1. That's all that it says it doesn't have any release notes and you can see the update size for me here on my iPhone 6s that it comes in at exactly 606 60 0.2 megabytes now you can see the version that i'm on now i'm on ios 15.2 but this phone was previously on ios 15.1 and when i went to the, to the software update page i actually couldn't see ios 15.2.1 so you will have to update to ios 15.2 and then after that you update again to ios 15.2.1 now as you can see here i'm just starting to download the software update page for a software update that doesn't actually have in the release notes it's quite a big file as you can see around 600 megabytes some people are getting over 1 gig which is quite horrendous but that's not all that Apple released today if you do follow like Apple beta updates you can see that Apple today released quite a number of updates rather you can see on my device here that today Apple released iOS 15.3 beta 2 iPadOS 15.3 beta 2 watchOS 8.4 beta 2 tvOS 15.3 beta 2 and also yesterday they released macOS 12.2 the second beta to developers and today it came out to public beta testers so if these are updates that you are interested in then i do cover them here on the channel at half men of tech and if you want to keep up to date with such then a sub to the channel would be appreciated now i've already updated my iphone 6s that you can see here it's a 6s that was previously on 15.1 and now let's go ahead and see some of the software changes that came with this update if we go Go into settings and then go to where it says general and go to software update you can see the software version it's actually up to date and it's 15.2.1 so we are now up to date and if we go to the about this iPhone page you can see the version and if we click there you can see the new build number that we have with iOS 15.2.1 it's 19 C 63 now before that on ios 15.2 i had 19 c 56 so just a few digits have been incremented and if we go to where it says the modern firmware version you can see here that i have 9.01.00 and before that on ios 15.2 i had 9.01.00 so no change in that aspect and in case you are curious let's go to iphone storage and see whether it's taking an abnormal amount of storage you can see that i have about 11.4 gigs used of 64 and there's no like a large space that's being taken up by the system data or other storage so that seems to be an issue of the past and fully resolved with this update now there's a very good thing that came with this update when it comes to photos and messages especially if you use iCloud links or send like messages that contain links to photos with the previous iOS 15.1 and 15.2 there was an issue whereby those messages would not display and now if you share a photo on ios 15.2.1 that has an icloud link attached to it that is going to be able to show so you can always do that by going into your icloud drive and then if you share a photo using a message then it will be able to show which was an issue before so that has been resolved also there was an issue when it came to carplay whereby third party apps wouldn't like work properly sometimes touch input might have uh, worked whenever they wanted but with this update at least for the 2020 toyota corolla which i sometimes test on carplay it's one of those cars that doesn't have the wireless carplay you have to plug in your apple cable or your lightning connector to the usb of jack of the car and then you'll be able to use carplay since i did that on ios 15.2.1 so far like third party apps like google maps or spotify have been working normal so hopefully even for cars that use wireless means this is an issue of the past now we want to be able to see some of the security changes because there's a really good update that came to home 
or the home pod rather since it's the device that you can set up in your home as an accessory so let's go over to the apple security update page as you can see there we are this is the apple security update page and as you can see on the top of the links of the list rather you can see that we have ios 15.2.1 and ipad os 15.2.1 which is the version that we own and you know supported by 6s and newer and i want to show you something here when it comes to this so we want to click on this link and see some of the security updates that came with ios as well as ios iPad OS 15.2.1 and you can see that there's one it's it just says home kit but it's rather a serious issue that quite a number of people faced when it comes to iOS 15.2 and it has to do with home kit and it says here that the impact was processing a malicious crafted home kit accessory name may cause a denial of service now it's interesting that Apple just says a denial of service but what was actually happening with some people's home kit devices there was a bug on ios 15.2 whereby the device would rename the home kit to uh, like a strange name that has about half a million characters and because your phone isn't really programmed to have such a name which is so long that would cause some iphones to crash and so this is what they mean that the name may cause a denial of service so sometimes your iphone would just crash the home applications and other time your iphone would just boot up so that has been fixed and you can see the description a resource exhaustion issue was addressed which improved input validation so it makes it harder for your device or for the bug whatever was affecting the device to be able to just rename your devices that you have on your home it could be a home key it could be a doorbell or an accessory that you have in your home app so quite a serious issue if you do use home app and also you know this update does come with minor stability and improvements when it comes to security so if you open up the app store for the first time you might see a splash screen that says what's new on the app store and also you'll be able to see like the normal games of the day and so on so not a lot of new splash screen or new features it's more of a bug fix and stability update so other than that guys that's how this update came in for me when it comes to ios 15.2.1 very good update it's good it's one that i would recommend for security and stability now i will be covering the rest of the updates that i showed you at the start of this video so stick around and we'll be able to cover this update and see what to expect if you are not on the beta when ios 15.3 comes out or watch os 8.4 Thanks very much for watching. Stay safe and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Peace.